What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Kyle and I kind of teased you guys a little bit ago about this machine here. This is the Kubota KX40-4 and this was, believe it or not, I'm very fortunate, I've got a partnership with Kubota and they sent me this machine to use, uh, which is amazing because this has been on my bucket list of machines for probably since I can remember, you know, buying my first piece of machinery. I wanted to eventually get a mini excavator for random things, man. They are super handy. And I've now got about 20 hours in this machine, which is by, by no means like pro level hours. Obviously I'm very new to this machine. I've ran a couple before in the past. So I, I at least knew what I was doing, but I wanted to take a little bit of time just to do a quick walk around of this machine. I've gotten a lot of questions over on Instagram about it. So let's just go ahead and dive into it. This is a four ton mini excavator. So not the biggest out there, but it is quite large for this class. We've got a six way dozer blade, which is one of the really big features of this Kubota machine that a lot of other four ton machines don't have is this six way dozer blade. And maybe I'll show you that in action later. This machine weighs about 9,400 pounds. So what's amazing about that is I did that video about my 95-2 Kubota skid loader. That thing weighs 11,400 pounds. So 2,000 pounds more for that little skid loader than this mini excavator, which means it handles really well on my trailer. So moving it from job site to job site is really easy. Now you'll notice we've got the hydraulic thumb which has been really handy. Where we're at right now, this is my parents' place, and I've been helping them prep to remove an old dilapidated building, and having the hydraulic thumb to grab trees, grab boards, whatever, has been amazing. And the capacity of this machine has been quite impressive. I've moved some large concrete blocks, all with the hydraulic thumb, which is, which is quite awesome. Now, like I said, this is the KX40-4, and with the, the Dash 4, there was a big upgrade to the cab and now they've got what they're calling their premium cab. And one of the biggest things that they did to this machine or the cab was to increase the opening size, which makes it a lot easier to get in and out of. Now, of course this is a mini X, so it's not a huge luxurious cab, but once you're in here, it feels really nice. You can lock the door open like most machines. And what I really like, of course, Kubota, thank you, is when you want to open the front, you can just slide your, uh, you can slide your window open, especially if you're doing demo work like I've been doing here. I've left it open just to maybe, you know, I don't want to break glass, glass is expensive, which you got this piece here, this piece also just slides right out. So that's a nice, obviously a nice feature, nothing, nothing crazy. You know, there's a lot of machines that do the same thing. Now, what I like about Kubota is, is very simplistic, just like the skid loader. We've got a control panel here that gives me all the information that I need, really. It's got some buttons for, you know, different features, changing settings, whatever. And then you've got your, I guess what I would say, your, uh, your throttle. You've got your heating and cooling because this is a heated and cooled cab, which is awesome. And you've got your lights. Uh, this machine does have a mode where you can throttle it up. But if you're not actually doing work that requires all of that engine RPM, it will throttle down and uh, save you a lot of fuel. Now, I just put diesel in this for the first time. I've got 20 hours on it. So that tells you about what the fuel efficiency is. That's going to vary depending on how you run the machine. But it wasn't even full all the way when I started using it. So I think it's got a 17 gallon tank. So not too bad. There is an eco mode above and beyond that auto RPM mode also. So it will get even more, I don't even know how you would say that, digs per gallon? I don't know, I mean, it's not fuels per gallon. So anyway, we've got uh, pilot controls. So one thing I notice is these pilot controls are identical to the way it feels using that Kubota skid loader, which is a huge thing for me because I love that real feel. Like when you do something, it's actually actuating plungers, hydraulic plungers down in the machine that you know, are very responsive. So it's not an electronic pilot control, uh, which can sometimes be jittery. So when you're doing things uh, like digging, using the hydraulic thumb, you can really feel that with these pilot controls. So that's really nice. We've got our dozer blade handle over here or control so we can raise lower. And it, the six way means that we can raise and lower. We can tilt side to side and we can also tilt on an angle. So you can cut in some grade. You know, you're not going to go and you know, push a mountain over, but you can definitely do some minor grading on your job site once you've maybe backfilled a hole or whatever. 
other than that, man, these these machines are fairly simple in a in a sense. They're made to dig. They're made to bulldoze a little bit of grade. And uh, I've been using it a lot to just tear down and move trees with the hydraulic thumb, which has been really handy. So I'm going to do a little bit of work here, and uh, and I'll come back to you guys in a little bit. Also, if you got a if you got a long distance and you got to get there faster, this does have a two-speed transport mode. So there we go. Gives you a little bit of top speed, probably of uh, still like a snail's crawl, <laughs> but not bad. You got hand controls here, or if you're going to be doing some functions like turning yourself sideways, you can also just use your foot controls, which is kind of a nice thing. So one of the coolest things I think about this machine, and I know a lot of excavators have it, is the hydraulic thumb. I'm able to just come in here now that I've got this down. Take that hydraulic thumb. And look at that. What kind of manpower and labor would you have to do in order to make this work? Now what I can do is I can just take it Make some nice stacks. It's like having a little hand and you can just do what you gotta do. Once you get yourself a nice pile. I mean, the amount of savings in something like this feature to be able to just pick this stuff up, I'm just gonna be able to take it right to the burn pile. So, I mean, this is an excavator. We already know that it digs holes. I'm able to use this to push this building down, even though it's only a four ton excavator. If you do it right, you know, you can easily use it to your advantage. The hydraulic thumb is just amazing for this sort of work. And I've already, like I said, put 20 hours on this machine. I've been uh, digging a big hole so we can safely burn what's left of this when we're done salvaging it. I've been busting up some concrete and picking that up. And uh, just overall, man, this is a super handy, like one of those tools that once you get, it's like, I could get out and pick that board up, but I think I'll just use that hydraulic thumb and do it with the, uh, with the, you know, the machine. So I'm gonna keep using this. Definitely, uh, I'm excited that I've partnered with Kubota on this machine and the Kubota 95 compact track loader. If you guys got any questions, if you're in the market down the road to purchase this machine or something like it and you're curious about its capabilities, about its comfort, about its features, make sure you drop those comments down below and I'll do my best to answer them. I'm gonna keep using it from here till, uh, well, I've got a year. So I've got a year partnership and hopefully longer than that. So definitely, you know, if you guys wanna support the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give Kubota some love. If you're interested in a, in a machinery piece, you know, down the road, give them a look because I promise you, I've been using Kubota now for about seven years. I fell in love with their skid loader and I think I'm falling in love with this. So you guys have a good one. I'm gonna get back to doing some demo.